are filled with dinosaur fossils buried under heaps of mud also attest to the flood. In fact, geologists have found a temporarily exposed dinosaur peninsula where the dinosaurs made their last stand, now buried there along with lake and sea life transported by the massive waves. Thousands of dinosaur trackways up and down this peninsula, plus similar temporarily exposed low areas on other continents, suggest that dying dinosaurs and other hardy track makers floated, waited, and walked on freshly deposited mud trying to find safe ground. Next, the massive Zuni mega sequence hits. The Absorica and Zuni mega sequences are the most severe because the continental plates began to move more quickly from the original Pangaea-like supercontinent configuration to where they are today. With oceanic rifting and plate subduction increasing dramatically and the continents traveling apart quickly, the tsunami-like waves began washing across western North America while virtually no sedimentation is occurring in the east. When coming up over the Dinosaur Peninsula, the Zuni catastrophically buries dinosaurs in the Morrison Formation, a 13-state area encompassing over 700,000 square miles. This Jurassic unit includes at least 141 massive dinosaur boneyards. The Zuni was so massive and fast that it engulfed entire regions with mudflow, burying giant creatures like this T. 